So um, what I wanted to do quickly in this video is just talk about the times when you're just vamping on, um, you know, you're just up at a jam session and someone else is soloing and you're just vamping on a nice sort of mid-tempo groove, um, you know, kind of R&B funky type of groove, a greasy type of groove. Um, and I'm just going to sort of talk about the shapes that I would use. I'm, I'm playing at uh, just a little 1-4 chord progression here. I'm going from E9 um, to A7. Um, but as you can hear, I'm not playing... I'm not playing the full chord like this. Um, I'm just trying to make the guitar as small as possible to knit in with what the drums and the bass are doing. So um, how I'm voicing this chord, you know, you've got your, your, your E9, you've got your, you know, your second finger on the seventh fret of the A string, first finger on the sixth fret of the D, and your third finger is barring the seventh fret of the G, B and E strings. There's your E9 chord. Um, for this vamp, all I'm doing is sta stating the root note by playing the root of the chord. And you'll notice my hand kind of moves if I play it slowly here, three, four. What I'm doing is I'm stating the root note, the E, and then I do a snap, one, two, three, four, like that. Just a downstroke and then an upstroke um, with my third finger barred. And then what I'm doing is, is my, my first finger and third finger are just playing these two notes. I'm sliding down a fret um, on the D and the, uh, the G strings. And I'm just playing this little figure. Because that gives me the voicing of the chord is giving me my third and my flat and seventh of the of the E9 chord. And then I'm sliding down to E flat nine and then going back up, you know, sort of, it's almost like a horn part. That's how I hear it. You're playing, you're, you're able to state the chord really clearly by not playing the full chord. I'm just playing as little information as I can get away with to give me the harmony of that chord. Three, four. And you see my... My strumming hand is... I'm staying very close to the, the, the strings and I'm picking... My, my hand is kind of anchored to the pick guard here or to the body of the guitar. You see my, my um, third and fourth fingers, it's just the way I do it, third and fourth fingers are anchored to the pick guard. Which means my hand doesn't move too far away from the guitar. And I'm just picking the D and the G strings. But being very careful to mute when I'm, you know, I'm, I'm fretting with my first finger and my third finger on the D and the G. Um, and my second finger is muting the strings below. And the way my third finger is laying, it's kind of muting the strings above as well. So I'm, as you can hear, just a little bit of a, a, a flick with the third finger laying down on the, on the seventh fret. And then... I'm just doing that, um, which creates a nice little space, lots of space in the in the groove for all the other instruments to, to, to play around with as well. So, and then um, something you can do is every now and then when you feel like it, you can slide your third finger up to the ninth fret, which gives you like a, an E13 sound or an E9, you know, going E9 to E13. Very sort of James Brown. Very sort of that kind of sound that James Brown used to go for. Uh, so, yeah, I'm just sliding up to the uh, the ninth fret of the D, G, uh, the G, B and E strings. So, 
as you can hear, lots of space. Um, going to show you the voicing for the A7 chord here now. I'm doing a very similar thing, although my fingers change from this shape to, to uh, I'm, I'm basically playing, um, my first finger's laying flat on the, on the fifth fret of the D, G, B and E strings, and my second finger is on the sixth fret of the G string. And that gives me my A7 voicing. Um, and I use my thumb to, to give me the A note. So same thing, I'm kind of snap, snapping the higher strings um, to give me the higher end of the chord. And then I'm getting my flat and seventh there on the fifth fret of the D string. And the third of the chord I'm getting with my second finger on the sixth fret of the G. So I'm able to get the voicing of the chord without playing the whole chord. Same thing. I'm kind of just working. So if I wanted to, I can just play that. Two, one, two. One, two. So playing this way is, you know, I, I know, you know, I feel that other, uh, other musicians in the band appreciate it because it gives space to every, for everyone else to play as well. You're not covering everything with the guitar, just keeping the guitar part really small um, and tight and groovy. Um, uh, yeah, so that's just uh, the way I would do that. Um, the voicings for it, if I was doing it, you know, Playing a 1-4, a, a so E9 to A7, um, higher up the neck. I, I would kind of go to, from an E7, same thing that I'm doing there on the A, the A7 at the 5th fret. I'm doing it at the 12th fret. B4. And then to, the, to doing an A9. getting a lot of information out by just using very very small note selections um i hope that's been useful to you uh, don't forget to subscribe hit the subscribe button if you like the video um and don't forget to ring the bell so you get an alert every time i release a new video take care and hope to see you soon bye